you guys, how many here have Foggy Mountain Banjo record? Okay, most of you. If you remember Ruben, yes. On there, when when Josh takes the Dobro break, Earl comes. <laughs> And he does a vamp kind of like he's just dampening the strings and doing kind of a quasi roll pattern on that. Well, I always thought that was the coolest thing ever. And in a guitar solo, it works great behind a guitar solo. And one of my favorite people to do that behind is Tim Stafford mm. or Keith. They, they have a pretty fluid style of playing lead. Right. Um, you know, Dobro is kind of fluid. But it works really good. It gives a good counterpoint to to guitar or dobro. And a lot of times I will, uh, I'm trying to remember if I'm alone and wondering why if I probably did so <coughs> behind the guitar solo. Yeah. And that's all I'm doing is I'm just barely putting my fingers on and I'm doing kind of a roll. Now are your fingers on top of the fret or just behind it? Well, uh, pretty much where I would, you know, they're they're pretty much where I would make the chord. Okay. Uh, just, you know, they, they might ease forward just a hair, but you know, when you lift them off, you dead the, the strings. And it just is this nice little percussive. So, um, would one of y'all play something on the banjo? Just a, like a verse of, uh, Little cap home on the hill or something, anything. Yeah, sure. Uh, and I'll I'll do that. I, mean, I don't have a guitar in here, but. So it's harder to yeah. tell with that, but it's, it's just a neat little different way of vamping behind the guitar. Right. When you're doing a nice, you had a good syncopation. Yeah. I'd like to come up with that and say, what do you do behind Dobro? Because I've done that behind guitar, yeah. but Dobro, Earl, I think, said this too, and, and I think a couple other people, right. Alan Mundy mm -hmm. too. What do you do it's, behind it's, a dobro? It's, it's, it's hard, depending on the yeah. dobro player, too. Some yeah. dobro players use a lot of roll pattern. Yes. That's tough. You're not going to have to fan there. Yeah. Um, it depends on the player. Yeah. Um, sometimes with Rob, I can play a roll, mm -hmm. um, depending on the song. Right. It's fine. Uh, sometimes I'll have to go to a van. Yeah, because it's so, it's so difficult to bridge the gap between being messy right. and tasteful. Exactly, exactly. Because they change up. Right. Uh, there was this guy I was playing with, and he changed up all the time. And, and I just ended up doing one or the right. other, but it ended up sounding too cluttered or too exactly. dead. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, a hard, yeah. it's a hard place with the dobro, and so much depends on the dobro player yeah. and their style and, and what they're going to do. You just about have to kind of yeah. go a little trial and error with that person yeah. and see what works. But yeah, it, it is a it is a weird spot because mm -hmm. some you vamp behind and it's empty, right. others you vamp behind and you need to roll. Right. You know, um, here, something I do a lot of times with the man on our guitar solo. Um, say uh, um, the song. Uh, there's a song we cut on the record called I've Lost You that John Bowman sings. Right, right. And it's just, it's an old, Earl Scruggs wrote the song, Flat and Scruggs cut it, and it's just a, a three chord song. But like the mandolin takes a solo or guitar, and I'll start, uh, let me play the, the tune to the song, sure. and then I'll show you what I do behind the mandolin and guitar. And this is kind of anything could could be done behind Dobro too, okay. depending on. Uh, uh, on who is <laughs> playing. <laughs> Thank you. 
the break, I might come in on the downbeat back with roll, and it right. sort of builds the break up yeah. as it goes on. And normally pickers are going to build as they go on. Right. You know. Yeah. Uh, That's and that I've sort done of, that. Yeah. And, and it sort of gives a big oomph right in the center yeah. of, the, of the solo. Though I have done it by accident, not on purpose. <laughs> like you're doing it. That's probably one of the distinctions between Pro and Amateur. Yeah. That's, that's almost a boxcar's to me, signature sound. Is, yeah. You know, on one or two songs, mm -hmm. everyone on the floor and, and the and, mm -hmm. nobody's playing, and everyone comes right. in and down the That's so cool. Well, actually, I got that from Earl. It's for, yeah, for sometimes he would wait and uh, he'd wait. Right, 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 and 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 it shows it's a support thing. You know, how can you help? You know, what someone's trying to do over here. How can you bring that on a little bit more? And um, they set it up. You know, it's it's like. A, the ball team, you know, they're making the extra pass for me to make the basket, hopefully, <laughs> on, the, on the solo. And they set that up to where it's even more effective than if yeah. if they didn't, you know. And they create a, a spot there, mm -hmm. that moment of pause, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then bam, you know. So it's mm -hmm. all of them working together to help me at that point, you know, make that jump out even more. But there again, going back to the question of pro, you know, they're, those guys are pros. That's, that's what you do. You know, if you can help in some way, that's what you do. And, uh, Is that you sit around and premeditate and talk about, or did it just happen? Uh, we've, we've, we've all played together in different settings yeah. for a long time. Um, and basically, I mean, there wasn't a, ever a powwow on, hey, we need to set this banjo solo up. Uh, <laughs> there never just, is a powwow. No, 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 I, 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 <laughs> only ever comes up. <laughs> Not no, for the it, banjo. It never, it, well, it, it, or, it, it's one of those deals where they know what I'm going to do, almost uh, instinctively, so, <laughs> and I know what they're going to do. So. You know, it's not really something that has to be hacked out or anything. It's like if somebody plays a solo one time, you kind of got in your mind where yeah. they're going with it and what they want as an end result. So you. See, so it was saying she has that with her family. Uh, yeah. Grew up right, exactly. So you have that thing where you know what the other person's going to do. Yeah. Are these techniques that you've been showing us? as good behind vocals as they are behind an instrumental or is there you I probably wouldn't instrumental. do that particular vamp behind a vocal. You yeah. Know, the, well I thought not, but yeah. what what do you like to do behind vocals? It, it depends on it depends on the song and the feel. Right. Like uh, a song that's kind of <laughs> modal and medium to up tempo, I'll roll a lot through that just oh you know uh, more of an open roll kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, I like to no, the song you guys do, Jeffrey's. Um, Jeffrey's or December 13th or yeah. Mudslide or whatever. Right. I want to roll through that song to keep an energy level there. I'm not doing much. I might put something in between the line and whatnot, but I'm just mm -hmm. basically wanting to create a, a feel with the roll. Now, if it's something like the Flat and Scruggs tune, I'll go up the neck and do back up. Yeah. You know, and that sort of, and it but my whole, yeah. everything changes there, the whole, hopefully the feel of the rolls and things change too, because it's a whole different type of tune. Right. And you can change the feel of a song, the banjo player can change everything real quick with how that roll's syncopated. Uh, if it's real even and straight, or if you start syncopating one of the notes in the rolls, it changes the whole, it's like a drummer doing a shuffle. Mm -hmm. Depending on where he puts the emphasis, it changes the whole feel of the rhythm immediately. Right. So, you know, banjos are pretty... Every every piece of the band is, is huge in the way that it shapes rhythm sections and whatnot. But a banjo roll will absolutely turn it 180, mm -hmm. you know, and... Uh, 
it, it'll cause the rhythm section to change. It have to change, right. or vice versa. A guitar player yeah. can change your banjo roll, and you not even know it because of their rhythm patterns. Um, mm -hmm. You know, Crow used to talk about that all the time. <laughs> that all the guitar players that went through that band, you know, everyone has their own upstrokes, different up. You know, where where they emphasize the rhythm, like, and it changes the banjo roll dramatically. Exactly. Depending on that guitar player, but uh, yeah, to 